Yes, it's winter time. Yes, I'm in a tank top. But I have a scarf on and I have bitchin' ass hair. So I wanted to film because my hair, like I said, it looks like a bitchin' ass. So here we go. So today, I'm going to tell you the bear story, just because I have a lot of story times. Well, not like a lot, I have like seven, but story times are really popular, and this one always makes me laugh, so maybe it'll make you laugh. So, here we go. I may, at the time, have been eight to ten years old, somewhere in that range, and my family used to go camping a lot on Memorial Day weekends, and my older sister used to always bring our family friend Jamie, well, he's he's like her BFF like they've been BFFs forever he's like technically our god brother so yeah he always used to come and this particular time he was with us and we had two tents one for all us kids me and my sisters and Jamie and one for my mom and ex-stepdad so anyways um and I did it. I broke the zipper on the tent and didn't tell anyone because I couldn't get it to shut all the way. So I just pretended that it didn't happen and didn't tell anyone. And so <laughs> anyways, um, we lay down, we're all going to sleep. Um, and I used to, and sometimes I still do. I don't really anymore. Like now it's the TV, but when I was younger, especially when we went camping, I would sleep with my music on. And I know a lot of people do that, but I would sleep with like my headphones in, or headphones on because it's like the headband, headband, hand, headband, headphones, you know, like the old school ones. Yeah. Showing my age a little bit, okay? Um, I'm really old and I can't speak English. Jamie had slept with his head down by the zipper or down by the door. Um, I don't know why he did this, but he had felt the need to do this and he said that something hard headbutted him and... Jamie wears glasses and he did not have his glasses on plus it was dark so when he when it headbutted him he then realized the zipper is broken so the tent door is open and also he looked out and there was a bear outside getting into our ice chest because we had forgotten to put it away I think some people were drinking maybe and forgot to put it away and there was chips left out on the table and they were getting into our chips which I was really mad about because they were barbecue chips and those are my favorite at this point, I get really, really scared. So we're all kind of holding hands. Well, Amanda didn't get scared. Amanda just went back to sleep because she just did not care. That girl loves her sleep. She don't care. So me and Jamie and Holly, we're all holding hands and we're scared. And we kind of watch through the little flap of the broken zipper and watch. Well, Jamie watches through the flap of the broken zipper and that's why there was bears outside. Um, but he... Ben sees the bear leave, and then he sees it come back. But when it comes back, he tells us it's coming back, and it has a friend. So now there's two bears outside, and we're scared. We're all freaking out. So finally, Jamie says, because I'm the guy, I'll get up, and I'll run to your parents' tent and tell them that there's bears, and then I'll come back. So he gets up. As soon as he steps outside the tent, he stays very still. And then when we hear the bears stop moving, he runs to my parents' tent, and he tells them, and out of nowhere, my stepdad, or ex-stepdad, gets up, grabs a flashlight, gives one to Jamie. Him and Jamie shine the flashlight all around. And finally, Jamie comes back to the tent, puts it away, and just kind of sits down. And we're sitting there scared. Still scared, because there's bears outside, and there's more than one. And they're taking our food, and they could attack us, because they were coming literally right next to our tent. We could hear them walking by. And we could see their shadows walking by. And we were scared as fuck. So anyways. Yeah, so anyways. We're sitting there. And then out of nowhere. Stan, which is my stepdad. Opens the tent door and tells us. Thanks for warning us about the raccoons, Jamie. <laughs> it wasn't even bears. And poor Jamie, to this day. Um, from what he told me, my older sister still tells people about that, and I actually do too, because now I'm telling you guys about that. It literally made my day, and then at that point, I think all of us busted up laughing, and then we had to tell my younger sister about it the next day, at which point she started busting up laughing, but after that, whenever we went camping, we would always talk about the night when the bear raccoons came and took our chips and got into our ice chest. They drank our chocolate milk and ate our barbecue chips, but... That's beside the point. Um, 
But if you found that story uh, the least bit funny, like I did, give this video a thumbs up and it'll let me know that you guys want me to tell you more funny stories like this one because I have a lot of funny stories from my childhood. And so um, if you want to hear more, just let me know. Comment and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye, guys.